Hey guys, To Be Wyatt here for To Be Tales. Welcome to the final week of the 12 week fitness vlog series. In this week, we crown the winner and you will see who takes home the $150 cash. Stay tuned. You can get it. You got the other one twice, no problem. Easy. Got it, get it again. Jeff. Yeah, did you not see yourself? That was my goal for the 12 weeks, 165. bench sesh before the end of the year so 70 is a is a huge accomplishment so get it good Get it, you got it, you got it, you got it, yes, you got it. Good job. Oh boy. Do that three times? Yeah. 155, most I've ever done. PR. Personal record? Personal record, PR. It's gonna be easy, one rep. One rep. Please. Good, good, good. You got it, you got it, you got it. Good job. Oh. Good job. Wow, 50. Damn, you did more than me. That is impressive. <laughs> wow. Good job. I'm inspired. <laughs> oh, my mind's just, my mind's just in a quarrel right now. I'm just trying to process this, this even happen in 11 weeks, honestly. I, I'm just grateful to be alive that I could, I have the opportunity to push through my difficulties and come out stronger, I don't know.
Look like you've been working out, babe. Boom. Boom. How are those glutes? Oh. <laughs> this is the best white elephant gift I've ever gotten. I'm gonna sleep in this every night. No. No. It is the final week. These are my numbers here. I am sitting at 109.6. I started off at 118.8. I've lost about nine pounds. I'm not sure why it says 7.2 there, but let's go into the trends here. All right, so 118.8 there. I scaled down. I am currently at 109.6, just a little bit down from the last time I weighed myself. Let's go into body fat here. So I started off here. Uh, at 19.1 was my highest here, and I'm at 16.8, so about 3% down. And now for the before and after. If you take a look at this before and after, it is pretty dramatic. The very first picture taken here, that was at the beginning of 2018, January 1st, 2018. I was uh, 128.6, and then the second photo, the middle photo there, I was done doing my reset at 31 days, and I did a total review on it, and I lost 10.2 pounds. My starting weight before the 12-week was at 118.8 and so that middle photo right there is really a good depiction of what I look like but if you take a look at the very last photo that's where I'm at right now 109.6 you see a whole lot of definition you see biggest smile on my face I'm just blown away by how much my back has grown I used to look at photos and think man will I ever be able to build a back like that and instead of wishing for it and dreaming for it, I decided I'm going to work for it. And that's that's really what I did here, guys. I really worked my tail off in building my back. If you take a look closely there, there's some wrinkles up in front. And that's because the pants around the waist do not fit. These are my tightest shorts that I own. Putting our pictures on Reddit. This is Ryan, myself, and Peng, and we are opening ourselves up for voting. So the internet will determine who is going to be the winner. Is it gonna be Ryan? Is it gonna be myself or is it gonna be Peng? Here it is. that it was the time and for me 12 weeks seems like a very long time but in reality it's not it flies by I went too slow in the beginning like for example um, I would still drink wine like quite a bit during the first half of the challenge of the 12 weeks and I think that that really kind of slowed my progress down um, just because I was thinking in my head oh I got so much time the biggest challenge for me was doing a, a fast, You're doing, you know, getting into fasting, uh, prolonged fasting, going from one day or you know, twenty, you know, even within a four-hour window, um, to not eating for a day or, or not eating for three days of so fasting, right? What was the hardest time for you? Hardest part for you? Honestly, the biggest challenge for me was vlogging us all. I wasn't sure about vlogging. I had that conversation with you, Peng, because it was going to be a lot of a lot of me, and it was going to take a lot of me and a lot of letting down my guard, letting go insecurities, 
what I look like, how I talk, and all that stuff because I'm fairly new to YouTube. I mean, I started, I started in April. My first, uh, the first week of April was the first week that um, first video I put up. Connecting, connecting with people. I didn't know faces. I didn't know stories of my audience or anything. And getting those messages, and you guys saw me. I got emotional when I would get messages from people and saying, hey, because I watched week six, week five, week four, I didn't give up this week. And I didn't realize how much of an impact that we could really have on people saying, okay, because of them, I'm gonna go to the gym tonight. I'm not gonna skip out on the gym because the gym is my time for me and I'm gonna give myself some love. And that, that touched me so much. All the messages that I got because of you guys, I'm doing it with you guys, I'm losing weight with you guys. Uh, I tune in every week to see you guys make progress, support each other, love each other through it all. That meant so much. Hey, my diabetes is cured. Hey, I am you know in Disneyland feeling great with my life. All those things that I never really thought that I, I didn't expect. You know? The best part was all the delicious food that we cooked. Um, <laughs> Can't forget about that. Yeah. I'm gonna be with Peng on this and say how great the food was. <laughs> I think that I did not feel limited at all by everything that we ate. I mean, we had some incredible dishes. We tried a lot of new dishes as well. Yeah. You know, and I would say like 90% of them were hits. You know, and that's, that's an A. I had said I wanted to get down to 130. Um, I'm about, when I started out, I was probably about 150, so I had 20, 20 to, to, to lose. Um, I didn't quite get there um, to 130, but I got to about 135, which is amazing. Um, that's high school weight for me, I bench press. Um, I started out around 115, I'm about one, as of yesterday, I could do comfortably about 150, well, no, 145. Um, I've seen tremendous def uh, definition start come in um, on my body, and so that's only going to propel me to push myself even more um, going into 2019. I I did great. So my bench press went somewhere from around 225 to about 275 in 12 weeks. My squat, I don't know, is also around 225, and I did three. 35. Uh, my deadlift went up to 425. My weighted chin ups was like basically nothing, like 25 pounds, and now I'm at 65 pounds, like around my waist and chin ups. So it's it's all moving in the right direction. I still haven't hit my goals, uh, but I think that I'll hit them by the end of Q1. I was focused on muscle. I was focused on building muscle, body composition. And I was told that you can't burn fat and build muscle at the same time, especially on keto diet, especially fasting. And I think I'm a testament to that. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You look at my photos, you can't deny that I've lost a lot of fat and I've gained a lot of muscle. Yeah, I mean, that was really crazy to see myself do actual chin-ups for the first time, not assisted. I did four this year, which is insane. I think that was the biggest physical win for me right there, the, the chin-ups. All right, the bronze goes to Pang. Bronze goes to Pang. Woo! Okay, here's the trophy with the wad of cash. It's $150 in one. So when I went to go withdraw this, the teller gave me kind of like this dirty look because like, what do you need all these ones for, huh? I'm like, well, I'll just not answer that question. <laughs> okay, and the winner is you. You won one vote for me. I don't think I've ever held $150 at once, ever. Have this you? Go to next, no. <laughs> but... Should make it rain? Just... <laughs> Maybe I will. That'd be a fun shot. 
Who's gonna pick it up afterwards, though? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's going in my pocket, right? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm not letting this one go. If you did not hate this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. You can follow me on my social medias. They're linked down in the description box below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down below. And we, I guess we're signing off with love and gratitude on the last vlog, guys. Mm -hmm. This is it. We're gonna have a watch party after this, probably. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you in the next Tippy Tales. Have a great one. Bye.